Rom time. What is going on, Tentacrew? It's your boy Billy the Squid, and today Welcome we are going rom-com hunting. And by rom-com, I mean rom the big bloated spider. Yes, it is time. We are going to be doing rom the vacuous spider. I'm going to run you up through there. If you guys haven't checked out all the other videos prior to this, definitely check those out before coming here. We have got 25 skill and 25 strength coming out. Uh, what else do we have to use? Nothing else to use. We've got everything we need. We should be good to go. We've got gems slotted. Let's do it, fam. So, last video we did the Shadows of Yarnum. Got all of that fun stuff taken care of and done. Now, we are going to go and close out what most people consider the midpoint of the game with Ron the Vacuous Spider, a boss that has become pretty polarizing with the community. You either love this fight or you hate it. It is one of the better gimmicky fights in my opinion, considering uh, just the, how they have the fight specifically laid out. But uh, yeah, hopefully this guide will be helpful. Disclaimer, I am not a professional uh, at this kind of stuff. I have only recently uh, mastered the no death portion of it, and even then I still make mistakes. But um, I'm going to try my best to give you guys the ins and outs on what you need to do to get through here without dying or getting hit. So first thing is first, we got to deal with the bug infestation problem coming out of Yarnum. And the easiest way to do that is to go long boy and bring them over here. They will not route around to you while uh, you aggro them down there. And then you just give them nice little head pats. Everybody likes a head boop. Bugs are no exception. They might not like the bullet as much, but you gotta you gotta get them invested. Um, the only thing to really take of note with this is I've never been hit by it, but it always scares me whenever they do their jumps. I am always concerned that they could potentially like stick to me and uh, I could take like the grab damage. Like I said, it's never happened, but it's always been a concern of mine. Wait until he walks over to these gravestones and then boop him. Uh, this guy has a tendency of running up. He's not the most annoying thing to deal with if he does run up on you, especially if it's just one of them. But uh, just something to keep in the back of your mind. After those guys are cleared out, we have a full easy run over to the door. If you just uh, straight up sprint through here, nothing is going to catch you. Some bug boys are going to jump off the bridge, but they won't aggro. And then Mr. Uh, Centipede with teeth and stuff is going to be over to your left. He will launch some meteors at you. They will all happily get blocked by the little fencing, and you are good to open that up. You will want to open that up. Um, and then we're actually going to go back. We have enough for one more level. So let's go ahead and do that. I will meet you back here. Be right back. Now, the only reason I prioritized going back was because this uh, fight is a DPS test, and there's a lot of things that can go wrong and not get you the end result that you're wanting, which is a one cycle of ROM. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted the best possible outcome we can, especially with this. So if you start up these stairs, you'll see the student start walking forward, head back to this doorway, and we're just going to wait it out. Um, you can tell by audio cues when they are back in their position, uh, the footsteps will stop, and then that will be where we make our move. Do not try to fight them. Uh, call from beyond, be a real bitch. His little homing stars of the cosmos know how to find your asshole directly and get right up in there, so. Well, that might be some people's cup of tea. It is not the Hunter of Yarnums. Okay, and now that everything is nice and quiet, we are going to proceed. Do not walk, or do not run. Do not fast walk. You want to slow walk up at least until you hit the uh, bottles over here, then you can kind of move it forward. Uh, if you make too much noise walking directly underneath where the student is at, it will aggro and start coming back this, down the stairs again, and that's just a bad time. Slow walk all the way up the stairs. And then, once you get about to the door, you can start uh, 
motoring around. The key to Rom's Lake is up the ladder, as you know. So we're just going to run up here, grab that, come back down, and then uh, we should be good to go for the fight attempt. Once again, err on the side of caution whenever approaching here. That guy over there is just the worst and will rip a run quicker than pretty well anything in this game. So err on the side of caution, slow walk up to the door, and then we are good to go. Now, this fight only requires two things, one of which is beast blood pellets, and the other is fire paper. If you are going through the game, normally you only have one fire paper at this point. That should be fine. Um, I would also suggest having bold hunter's marks on you just in case things go tits up. That way, uh... You have a way out. Um, there are potential things that can happen with this fight. It's a little janky about the one cycle. It's not consistent. It is the only non-consistent one cycle that I've found. I might just be doing it wrong, but if things do go bad and you have way too much health on Rom by the time uh, she starts doing teleports, if she gets to the teleports, um, Bolt Hunters mark out. If you need more fire paper, you can go to the top of the Healing Church Workshop. There is a badge there. It should be pretty easy to clean out at this point. And then you will be able to get all the fire paper you need from the inside bath or from the shop itself. The first thing is first. We got a bug problem and we need to clean it out. Be very, very cautious with any movement. The spiders tend to attack in pairs. So be on the lookout for any abnormal movement. If they are not walking backwards, they are walking forwards, which means they are about to attack you. If they do the head jump, that's an easy one hit. Any others take two. Um, the most difficult ones to look out for are that one there, actually, and then the quick jump right there. Thank you, guys. You are the best assistance a hunter could ask for. So see how he's walking towards me? If I get close enough, he will attack. If he doesn't get within range, he just goes back on his bullshit. Don't get greedy. Chip away at him one by one. And then you are good to focus on the big girl herself. Now, there is an invisible wall in this lake. You want to make sure you are not up against that. Uh, it can negatively affect your experience with the one cycle. Okay, so right here is the invisible wall. You kind of want to ride it out and get her pointed in the opposite direction so that you don't end up hitting that. Then you're going to bring your fist out, and it is time to do some nose boops. So eat up your beast blood pellet and then strong R2 into the face of the abomination that is Rom. This is the quickest way I have found to build up your beast meter. Um, you can also do transforms R1, L1, L1. Um, some people go that route for building a beast hood. It's really up to you. Um, if all goes well, you shouldn't need the extended beast meter. Um, while you're doing this, make sure you have your fire paper equipped in your side slot. We're getting some really bad RNG with her backing up. And then once you get your meter maxed out, swap to your thing, do it, and then R1 into L1. Wait for your stamina to come back. One, two. One, two. We're getting some weird RNG. There is your one cycle. That is not the way it's typically supposed to go, but uh, the weird RNG was actually a good thing. Anytime she backs up, it resets you. So as long as you're not R1 spamming, you can walk up and reset. The way that is supposed to work is you R1, L1, wait for your stamina to fill, and then three R1s followed by a charged R2 into her. That will cause her to stagger, wait for your bar to fill up, two more R1s, and then a L1 should finish the job. Like I said, we got some really weird RNG that actually worked in our favor. Just if she starts backing up while you're trying to get the one cycle set, don't panic. Just walk up into her side and restart the cycle. You'll have enough time because she has to go through the animation to back up and then reset. You'll have the time to get your three R1s and then your charged R2 off. And yeah, if she happens to back up multiple times, it's basically a free win. So with that being said, you get spawned here, there is no bonfire nearby, so we have to run up to the nearest bonfire. 
which is right over Shmia. Do not worry about fighting any of these boyos that pop up. There's going to be a guy right here on the stairs. He is the only one that you need to be concerned about. He's right here. Waylay into him. We actually still have Beast Hood built up from the ROM fight. We got it done so quickly, so he was easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we hit the torch and go back home. So, now that we're back, let's go ahead and reassess, pop the Kin's Cold Blood, and then go find your doll, and we will get our final level up. So thank you guys for the watch. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. If you did and learned something, let me know in the comments below, as well as like the video. We are going to try to get this series wrapped up sooner rather than later so I can move on to the other series. Um, thing to note about the leveling here is strength is the go once you hit both 25. Um, the saw cleaver scales better off of strength than it does skill. The only reason we put points into skill is one, for viscerals, and two, because once you hit the soft cap with strength, the skill actually scales your damage slightly better. But now that they are both at soft cap, strength is the way to go. At uh, this point, if you are wanting to start putting points into vitality, you can. I personally think that, uh, the damage is more important. A lot of the enemies in this game are going to one-shot you regardless of a few points. I would at least wait until you hit 35, 40 on uh, your strength scaling before you go doing that. But that is a topic for a later date once we get there. So much love, Tenacrew. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Much love.